Hey, what's up everybody, Hakai here, and today I'm going to show you how to create the Herding Staff to unlock the secret level in Diablo 3. So first off, we want to go to Act 1, select the Shattered Crown. Excuse me if I yawn, it's like 3 a.m. and I'm tired as hell. So take the waypoint, we're going to go to Cathedral Garden. We're going to enter a Leoric's Passage and go to the first floor of the Cathedral from the back. Now here we're looking for black mushroom. First of five ingredients needed to craft for the herding staff. Now the black mushroom isn't that rare of a spawn, so it's pretty easy to find. You can usually get it on your first try, if not, just exit and reload the level. So it's always going to be in a little room, so just keep an eye out. As we're running around here, you can see this is going to be a dead end. So we'll turn around. You want more? Black mushrooms are quite enormous. One step down, four to go. So next up is Leoric Shimbone. So we're gonna go out change quest. This time we're gonna go down to the imprisoned angel quest, part two, the cursed hold. Now you wanna go to your waypoint and go to Leoric's manor down at the bottom. Then just head inside, and we're going to the main room up front. So head up the stairs. There'll be a bunch of mobs, but you should be able to mow them down real simple. Now one thing to note is this does not always spawn, so you may have to reload and retry multiple times. It took us 10 tries to finally get it. Whoa, don't know what happened here. Do you want more? Thing finally spawned here on our 10th attempt and you'll be able to tell real easy because all you do is you run in here and when you run up to the fireplace if there's wood in the fire you know it's there right there you go the auric shimbo so that's two down three to go okay so next up we're getting wurtz bell so you want to go to change quest again, this time we're going down to Act 2. Just go to the road to Alcarnas. It's like quest, alright. As soon as it starts up, just run over here for the town. Go to the bazaar. And then we just gotta find Squirt, the little girl merchant. She's right over here to your left. Now this item costs 100,000 gold on normal. So I you're going to want to save up. Right there it is. Me. Underneath miscellaneous, Wurtz Bell. So you just buy that, and you're down three items. Two more to go. Alright, so next up we're looking for Liquid Rainbow. So we're going to stay in Act 2. This time we're changing up to the Betrayer of the Haradrim and going to the Forgotten Ruins quest. So load that up. Now you want to hit up the waypoint here, choose Desert Oasis. Now from the spawn, just follow the wall to the south. We're going to look for a man in a hut being attacked by ghosts. This is a random event, it's not always guaranteed to happen. It took me four tries to get this. Right there he is. You got to kill off the ghost and save him. Once the ghosts are dead, just talk to him. He'll open the door here to the mysterious cave. There we go. Just run on inside. All right. So now on the first level, we're going to be looking for a box called the mysterious chest. Again, this chest also has a chance to spawn. It's not guaranteed, so you may have to run this more than once. It took me two tries in here to find it. It'll spawn on the first floor. So if you explore the whole area and you don't find it, just reset run it again and there 
it is, our mysterious chest. Let's kill these guys off. Open that bad boy up. There we go. Liquid Rainbow. So that's four down, one to go. Alright, one material left. So head to Act 3, choose the Siege Breaker quest, and we're on our way to finding the Jibbering Gem. So head to the waypoint and choose Corsic Bridge. Now once you head north here, you're going to be in the Fields of Slaughter, and we're looking for the Caverns of Frost. Now these things have a chance to spawn. Sometimes you'll get those, other times you'll get Icefall Caves. If you can see the Icefall Caves, just exit out and try again. Alright, so once you're inside the Caverns of Frost, you want to just run straight towards level 2. We're looking for a rare spawn named Chiltara, who drops the Gibbering Gem. Now the problem is, every time you come in, there's a chance of a different rare mob on the second floor. Chiltara is extremely rare. It took me 317 attempts before I found her. So if you're looking for this one, be ready to do it for the long haul. All in all though, it doesn't take too long. I'd say probably it took about three and a half hours of farming this. And the cave's random every time, so just run around until you find floor two. Alright, so once you reach level 2 here, remember, just, you're looking for a rare mob named Chiltara. There's only going to be one, so if it's not her, just leave and try again. And there it is. There's our gibbering gem. So now, we have all our items, all we need is the recipe, and we can put this together and finally go to the secret level. So now that you have all your materials, all you have left is to get the recipe. And this part's pretty easy, so just go down to Act 4, choose the Primeval Quest, and start it from the beginning. Alright, once you're in game here, go to the waypoint, choose the Crystal Colonnade portal. Now you want to head over and zone into the gateway to the Silver Spire. For the sake of saving time, I'm going to cut this part out. Alright, here we are. I'm now you just want to run across the bridge, and we're going to kill Azul, who drops the plans for the Staff of Herding. Now I don't know how rare this drop is, it dropped right away on our first try. So good luck to everyone on this. Real simple fight. Bastard freezes me a few times. There, just kill him real quick. And there you go, there's your plan, Staff of Hurting. So now we got our recipe and all our materials, let's go put this sucker together. Alright guys, so this is it. Head back to Tristram, make sure you have your materials, the Black Mushroom, the Onyx Shimbone, Ritz Bell, your liquid rainbow, the damn gibbering gem, and your plan for the staff of herding. Head over to your blacksmith. Go ahead and talk to him about crafting. Right click on your plan to teach it to him. Then go up to your weapons. Scroll down to your staves. And this item is going to cost you 50k. So make sure you saved up and you're ready for this. And just go ahead and hit craft. And there we
there we go. There is our staff of herding. All that long work, hard work finally paid off. So now what do you do with it? Well, I'll show you. Alright, first, head to the waypoint here. Choose the Cemetery of the Forsaken, which will take you to Old Tristram. Now let's head out to the side. Old Tristram. Diablo's evil and as soon as you get out, it's not too far at all, right down Old Tristram Road here, you'll find the corpse of a cow. And as soon as you do, you'll see the ghost of the dead cow king from Diablo 2 rise up. And the little exclamation mark, let's just kill these bastards, there he is. Alright, let's listen. Hmm. <coughs> we see you have brought the item. That is good. We are utterly pleased. <laughs> God, you're a cow? What was in that health potion I drank back there? And you are a stinking bag of flesh with no fur. Ha ha, touche. This is no time to be silly. The level of sparkling happiness and rainbows awaits you. You mean, the cow level? No! There is no cow level. No. Ma! That's it, guys. You now have access to Whimsy Shire. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out. If you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Got a lot more Diablo 3 and a bunch of other stuff coming for you. Till then, take care.